Hello, my name is Sam from Serious Games, and today we're going to take a look at how you can put Controller Shake in your Unity project. Now, Unity does not have a native Controller Shake support, so you're going to have to go to the internet to download some. So to do that, just go xinput.net and click on the first link. And once you do that, just scroll down until you get to a thing that says ready to go and click on the releases tab. Go ahead and click the first download link and just go ahead and click open with Unity Editor and it will automatically import that for you. So go ahead and hit import and go. So if you were to do this you could also download it and click save file and then go assets import package custom package and then do it from there so now that there now that you have that go ahead and go into that new folder click examples and open up that scene that it downloaded hit play and if you hold the con if you hold the triggers it'll vibrate and it's also an input system as well but that's not what you're here for so now that you have that, let's go ahead and take a look at how we might make a script just for vibration. So go ahead and make a new C sharp script and type vibration underscore test. Go ahead and open that up. And if you went to hit the triggers on this and no vibration happened, try plugging your controller in via USB if you're using a wireless controller and that should fix the issue. So now that you're here, go ahead and go into that test CS and copy these three lines of code, the player index, the gamepad state, previous, and the state. And go ahead and paste those into the top of your script. Then go ahead and take the using namespace and put that in there as well. Alright, and that's basically all it takes, except for one more line of code, and this is the actual vibration. So go ahead and paste that into your update tab, update method, excuse me. So go ahead and type uh, if input dot get key down joystick button zero and you can always type joystick one button zero if you want to just have it be the first player joystick and then go ahead and close that up and this all this is going to do is when you press A it's going to start the vibration and it takes in the player index which is the controller and then it takes in two floats and that's the left and right intensity for the controller shake. And so I'm just going to put in a 0.1 because it's not very much. And this only ranges between 0 and 1. So 1 is really strong and 0.1 is weak. So then we're just going to go and put in input.get key down joystick button 1. And this is going to say that if you press B then the vibration should stop. And as you might guess, just make those values 0, and go ahead and go back to your scene, drag that vibration test onto the block, disable the input test, and go ahead and press play. Now when you press A, you should feel the controller vibrating, and when you press B, you should feel it stop. Alright, that's all it takes to make controller vibration in Unity work, so pretty easy. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.